Hey everybody, Buggy here back with another video. So this week I'm taking you along on a hunt with Chandler and I, where we visited some Nebraska farmhouses, including a return trip to the Insanity House from last week. So there was a lot of cool stuff to be found, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So I'm back out with Chandler doing some yard hunting today and my first good target here, very green penny, had Indian numbers and now that's Lincoln on the front. So probably gonna be a wheat. Yeah, there it is, one cent on the back, very green one though. So might have an older date on this one. I think I see 1920 something. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and I'll loop you back in. So here it is, I'll clean up 1928 with a Denver mint mark. Thought for a second it was going to be the 22D, which is a little bit lower mintage, but sadly it is just a little more common date there. Nicked it with the shovel too, but still a cool find. Let's see if we get something else. How's that for a pop? Literally a foot away from that 28D. We got another very old looking penny. It's Lincoln again, so it's going to be another wheat, and I can't see the date all too well. However, there it is on the back, one cent. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and I will loop you back in with the date. So here it is, I'll clean up. This one is a 1916, also with a Denver mint mark. Pretty good green patina on that one. So that's a cool find. Let's see if we get something else. Well, it is really heating up now. Same uh, little area as the pennies. Check that out. That to me, looks like a watch fob. Yeah, it's definitely a watch fob. Looks like it's got a tractor on it and it is super caked in dirt. So I'm gonna clean this up and when I got the detail, I'll loop you back in. So here it is all cleaned up, very beautiful condition. It is a, a case watch fob for farm equipment. Probably dates to the earlier half of the 1900s. And on the back, it has some sort of back mark and it says Metal Art Company of Rochester, New York. So I'll throw up a date if I can find one for it, but either way, it's a very cool find. Let's see if we get something else. So I just chased way underneath that tree root there and out popped that. That to me looks like a horse buckle of some sort. It is uh, caked in dirt completely. And there is not a design that I can see on the face. Let's take this and knock the rest of the dirt out. And there we have it. Looks like just a plain horse buckle, but this is a very old find here, probably late 1800s if I had to guess. But I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. Well, looks like it is back to Wheat Penny land. That there, another very, very green one too. There's your one cent on the back. And it's gonna be another one that we may have to do some further cleaning with. However, maybe a Pantrov will give us a date. Can you see anything? I can't see anything. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and I'll loop you back in. Well, here's the Wheat Penny all cleaned up almost made the cutoff for an Indian head penny. You might not see the date very well, but it's 1910. I got a good look at it under a side light in the naked eye, but here's the one cent on the back one more time, but I will take another wheat penny. Let's see if we get something else. Well, it's been a while since I've had a good target, but I just pulled up this here. It appears to be an iron buckle of some kind, and this one I might actually throw through electrolysis. It looks like it'll clean up pretty well. It's definitely got some age to it, but I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. Well, here's another piece of old stuff. I'm not sure exactly what it used to be, but it's got a bunch of fancy floral patterns on it. Definitely an old uh, nickel silver. But um, I'm gonna try and straighten this out a little more when I get home, but it's a cool find either way. Let's see if we get something else. So I'm running a new machine today. We got the XP Deus 2 and way down here in a line that I walked with my Amphibio, way down deep, that's a nickel. Probably gonna be my first old coin with the Deus 2. And no, it's a buffalo. You can see that there. It's really, really a crusty. Yeah, you can see the Indian poking through. I'm going to clean this up a little bit more and I'll loop you back in. So here's the buffalo nickel all cleaned up. It is uh, pretty smooth. I might be able to see a date. If I do, I'll throw it up next to you. But still a cool coin. Very good shape coming out of the ground. Got a Denver mint mark on the back, but I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. So Chandler just pulled something cool up here. This is, it's got Lincoln, Nebraska on the face, Abraham Lincoln on the front. On the back, it is good for one city fair. So this is a Lincoln rail car token for the Lincoln Traction Company. So that's a cool find, definitely turn of the century. So let's see if we get something else. 
So I just got a 96 signal on the dais to uh, that's big round and I think that's silver. There's something on it. Feels like I really can't see. Oh, I think I see it. It's a barber half. Chandler, do you got spray on you? I'm gonna get this sprayed off. My spray's dying. Oh no. Oh no, it's not a barber, that's a walker. <laughs> Oof, this is uh That is so cold on my hands. Not a cold one. Yeah. Get that a pantser up, maybe get the dirt off. There you go, walking Liberty Half. Looks like a date in 1917. And there's some green staining on it, so I wonder if maybe there was a penny or nickel in the hole with it. I'm gonna clean this up and rescan the hole, and if anything else comes up, I'll loop you back in. So there was nothing else in the hole with it, but here it is all cleaned up. It is pretty crusty, but that there is a 1917 Walking Liberty half dollar. And there's the back of the coin, but I am absolutely floored with that. So in the pouch, that'll go. Let's see if we get something else. So I am not far from that Walking Liberty half. Check that out. Just right in the clump there, we've got us a pocket knife. And that is a beautiful bone handle. Wow. That's really cool. Completely intact. And it's probably, I would guess, like anywhere from like the 20s to the 60s. There's just no telling with these. But that is a super cool find, so I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. Well, this one was way down in the gravel. Down there, though, I see a chunk of brass. And that chunk of brass is going to be my first accordion read of the day. Second from this uh, yard. See if we have a note on there. Not much that I can see, but it's a cool find. It's definitely got some H to it. So in the patch, little go. Let's see if we get something else. So it looks like the shiny theme's gonna continue right there. That's a little silver and it looks, wow, that is actually pretty worn. You wanna give that a spray? Oh, I didn't bring my spray out here. Oh no. Well, we're gonna take this over to the car and spray it off and I'll loop you back in. So Chandler's gonna spray it. I'm calling seated. I can see 1870 something on there. Oh, it's so cold. Here, tap it with your finger. There you go. That's a seated dime. Is it? Yes, it is. Ha ha. That is a seated dime. Let's see, what we got for a date. Oh, it is slick. 1876. Are you kidding me? That is insane. Oh, geez. This is so worn. It is so worn. Wow, that is incredible. Let's dry this thing off so you can get a real good look at it there. Yeah, there it is, 1876 Seated Liberty Dime. Do not see a mint mark on the back, but I am floored with that. First a half, now this, I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. So we've actually moved just down the street. Looks like another piece of old stuff. This here is some sort of buckle, some sort, and actually, got like some gold plating on it. That's super interesting, but it's cool find. I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. Well, it is finally about that time. I have not seen a green penny all day and I think I see one cent poking through. There it is. That is going to be my first wheat penny of the day. Let's see what we got for a date on it. It's real green, so it could be an interesting one. And it's a nice clean wipe even. Look at that patina, 1919. So over a hundred years old, I'll certainly take that. So in the pouch, that'll go. Let's see if we get something else. So I am sitting on top of the cellar and down here, that appears to be something old. Looks like a buckle of some sort. I'm gonna clean this up because it's super caked and I will loop you back in. So here it is all cleaned up. It is a super fancy looking horse buckle, super uh, sturdy, heavy brass. But it's definitely got some age to it, so I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. Well, one more piece of old stuff here. Nothing too crazy, just a uh, little button, it appears. But that is an older style. It's made of aluminum, but I'll certainly take it. Let's see if we get something else. So I thought that was going to be a clad quarter down there. That's not a quarter design. I'm thinking a token, hopefully an old one. Hmm. No cash Ugh. value. No cash value, so modern. It says freedom on it. That's cool, though. It's a neat design, but I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. Well, I think we've got karma for all the silver this morning. I just got the chuck times three. 
Oh well, let's see if we get something else. Hey everybody, Bug Eater back with another wrap up for my hunt with Chandler at some farmhouses, including a return trip to the Insanity House from last week's episode. So there was a lot of cool stuff to be found, and here's my take from the hunt. I got into a fancy brass bit, an accordion reed, a bunch of buckles. I got an iron one, the silver plated one, as well as a couple of older looking horse buckles. This one has a glass stone in it. I also got onto a pocket knife in really good shape, an aluminum button. My favorite relic is this case watch fob. It dates to the 20s or 30s or so. I got onto the Chuck Times 3, 2007, 1997, and 2008, as well as another bottom token with a freedom pattern on it. Now, onto the older coins, I got four wheats dated 1910, 1916D, 1919D, and 1928D. I also got onto one Indian head penny that is so wiped you can hardly tell it's an Indian. The back is just gone and then... You can sort of make out a headdress on there. I also got onto a buffalo nickel. Got a Denver mint mark on the back. However, the date area is pretty smooth. I got onto a little silver, this little one dimer, completely wiped and on the face, an 1876 Seated Liberty Surprise at a 1900 yard of all places. And then I got onto one Walking Liberty half dollar, my big silver for the day, coated in this green crust. I can't see a mint mark, but the date is 1917, so my oldest half yet. But that was my hunt, guys. Thanks again for coming along. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Bug Eater, signing out.